Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Japuti Jams, aka... No, there's no aka here. The only game that's based off of the hit gotcha game is Jumpuchi Heroes. Same name, <laughs> spelled different. I have too many things going on at one if time. Same name, <laughs> pronounced different. God damn it! Spelled the same. Spelled the same, <laughs> pronounced different. I'm here with Zenron, as always. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And we're here to talk about uh, some good old Shonen Jump gaming, because it's finally happened, Zen. I finally stopped saving, and I was able to finally pull on a banner <laughs> after waiting so long. Did you Did you have to pity them? Hell yeah, I had to pity them. Are you yeah, I thought me? so. <laughs> that video of mine Who doesn't? Just... That video of mine is just me slowly going, I'm going to have to pity these units. Like, halfway in, I lost hope. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, great. Here's where Surrendering we are, to it. Yeah, at some point, you just got to let it go and be like, all right, this is what's happening here. Sometimes you can just feel when the game's not going to give it to you. And based off of my saving, I knew that it wasn't going to give it to me. But that's why I had enough for, like, two pities worth. Uh, because I was expecting a second limited. But so far doesn't seem to be one but there might be yet some one yeah i feel like there's a chance so let's talk about this first because it's very rare for us to actually talk about things that might be coming up so the characters that we have out right now which i'll just mention them right now off the off the top of the dome and then we'll talk about them individually a little bit later uh, so far, we have a Yusuke and Gon who are free, which was the big surprise for me because I saw them. I'm like, all right, that's the limited. And then they actually started with the actual limited, which was Killua and Hiei. And Yusuke and Gon were free. I think they're still free as long as you log in once, or I think it's only for one day. I actually don't remember. It's, but it's free. just one time. They're they're free any time during the event as long as you log in. Okay. Uh, and then the other free characters along with uh, Yusuke and Gon are Morel, Bui, Shiguri, and Chu. And then the side banner units, which are in a brand new style of banner, which are which is just really weird. But we'll talk absolute about absolute dog shit banner. That's all, that's the format yeah. that I'm calling it from now on. Yeah, we'll talk about that later too when we get to these units. Is uh, Miriam, uh, Knucklebine, and Suzaku. So that was it, and I feel like it's such a weird collection of Yu Hakusho characters. <laughs> Like, uh, Yusuke and Hiei make sense, and I like Chu a whole bunch, but Suzaku, Bui, and Shiguri are all across, like, three different arcs. Uh, so it felt a little bit weird, but then later on, it turned out on the website itself, I don't know how about the Hunter, the Hunter x Hunter characters seem weird to you. Does that make sense for you, the, the characters they picked? I've only at the very early um, beginning here. I know you said Knuckle... I mean... Knuckle, if they're just kind of weirdly spaced. Well, actually, no, I guess it's the Yu Yu Hakusho characters that are more weirdly spaced. Because it's what? Knuckle, Meruem, um... Mobile. Fuck, who, who, who was the last one? Mobile McElnarcy? Oh, Morel oh, yeah, it's all Chimera Ant. It's Chimera Ant dudes. Moral, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or Morel, or however you pronounce it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moral um, makes sense. Yeah. They they all kind of make sense. So Hie and Killua are obviously. I, don't, I guess Hie is from the Dark Tournament, for, yes, or yes. maybe afterward. I don't really know because Hie is Hie is kind of the same from the Dark Tournament finals to the end of the series. He doesn't really basically get anything different. The 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 the, uh, the dragon of the darkness flame. He's basically yeah. The once same he character. once he learns how to absorb the dragon, he stops getting new power ups. Basically, um, yeah. so he could be from afterward or during the Dark Tournament. Um, Kilua is Godspeed, so he could be anywhere in Chimera Ant or after. He's actually in the outfit he wears, like his normal clothes, mm -hmm. which I think he goes back to after the Chimera Ants, because he's in like a tank top in the Chimera Ant arc. Um, but then we the other Hunter Hunter characters are all uh, Chimera Ant characters. Obviously, Meruem. Um, and then Knuckle and Morel are from the same arc, so that makes sense to me. And Yusuke and Gon, they're in their final forms, but I feel like it's. It was, did Yusuke wear that outfit for. No, he did not. He only wore that in the Dark Tournament. Yeah, because that, that's the other weird thing about this Yusuke is that he goes into his Super Saiyan 3 form, which I, I think it's just his demon form, but I always Mazaku. call it. Mazaku. Mazaku, or as I call it, Super Saiyan the Mazaku, 3. Mazaku, yeah. But it basically uh, just is Super Saiyan 3, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's wearing the Dark Tournament outfit, and then Gon, I think, goes into his adult form, and I think that's from... Th I Chimera Ant. 
Yeah, Chimera Ant. So yeah, that's when he goes. He becomes Gonson. Um, but he is wearing the right outfit for that. Use K is not okay. Just a little bit weird on that. So it was just a little, a little bit weird, and then I assume it's just because that's Use K's most famous outfit, other than the the green school uniform. Yes. Um. So they just let it go. I I actually think it's weird that we don't have the green school uniform version of Use K at all. That was actually something that it was bothering me a little bit. Is that I think actually his most iconic outfit is that one, <laughs> is the green outfit, and we don't have that version at all. Yeah, I, I kind of wonder why that is. I guess just because uh, most of the stuff from Yu Yu Show is Dark Tournament or later era. Because mm-hmm. the the base use K is a Dark Tournament use K for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, you think it, it would have been school uniform one? Because base Kurama is just school uniform Kurama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, although we don't have a Kuwabara in his uniform either. Kurama is the only one that is in his colored school uniform in all we, of the Yu Hakusho characters. We could do two hours over what they're missing with Kuwabara, but I'm not gonna throw us <laughs> off, off tangent for that. But okay. yes, you are you are right. They we are also missing. Uh, the classic Kuwabara look. As much as I like the, I think this is also from Dark Tourney, isn't it? The Kuwabara cool outfit? Yeah, that is yeah. from when he fights Elder Tagura. Okay, yeah. I actually was having a... It, I don't know if it was a discussion or an argument with my brother, because he's just, he was saying this is from the end of uh, Chapter Black, Kuwabara. Cool and I was no, like, I it's I not. I think nah. so. Kuwabara cool is in, like, jeans and a t-shirt in Chapter Black. That's all. Okay. I think we did, he just this, got confused. This outfit is 100% the Elder Tagura fight. Yeah, because Elder Tagura's in there, and I was like, well, technically Elder is also in the other arc, but... I think it's different. But either way, there was some weird discrepancies with some of the Yu Yu Hakusho characters. Maybe it's just because they felt like they needed to pick. It's funny. Uh, school uniform Yusuke only appears in manga panels in this game of other characters. Other <laughs> than Yusuke. School uniform Yusuke and Kuwabara are in the base Kurama, his uh, manga panel. Uh-huh. And then he's also in Botons. That's, that's, that seems somehow very fitting. Uh-huh. It's funny. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit weird choices, but I was kind of living with it. But then it turned out on the actual Jumpudi official website, there was basically a leak of another character called Kalita Zoldiak from Hunter x Hunter, which now makes it feel like it's weird, right? That there is another character that is not out yet. That makes me feel like there's a part two to this one, which means we will get even more characters than what we have. At least that's what I'm thinking right now, because otherwise, why the hell would you just save one character? And not include them. Yeah, I, I assume that that is. I, I doubt she would be the limited. She doesn't really do anything. No. In Hunter Hunter. Um, well, I don't know, but although I think I think it's technically a Zoldic thing where that's that it's a boy that presents as a girl because there's two of them I think in the Zoldics mm-hmm. that are do that. So if you're gonna comment in the comments, actually that's a guy. Ninety percent sure they present as a girl. So shut up. I don't care. I'm calling her she. Um, and I also don't know, so forgive me if I just mess up. It was It's not in a disrespectful way. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> as far as I can tell, that was a girl, so I'm calling him a girl. That's what it looks like. That makes it sound weird. Really weird, weird. Anyway, let's move on <laughs> before I dig myself <laughs> to a deeper hole. Um, yeah, and also there is, as uh, I'm going to mention right now, there is a fight where we have a fight where we fight Elder Tagoro and Younger Tagoro together, which is our first hint of a Tagoro brothers together, because we don't have a unit for both Tagoros together. We just have um, 100% um, Younger Tagoro and regular Younger Tagoro, but we don't actually have a them together uh, thing. So that was also kind of weird when we looked at it, because it was like, really? They're not... Why wouldn't you just include him? You included the other guy from their team, Bui, but for some reason they chose not to make that a unit. So that makes me yeah. feel like... Yeah, the only thing I can think of is if it does, because there are, I think there's some other units that are only enemies that aren't obtainable. I don't think that's the first one. You don't think so? Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't remember who the other one is, but I remember talking about it before in the chat. Okay. Um that there was other units that were not obtainable. The only thing I could think of is maybe like that's the the limited, like them and Crollo or something, like the second one. Yeah. Um I don't know. That would but. be really sick. Yeah, there's no Crollo in any of the things here. So I don't know. It's possible for there to be another part two. And like we said, the 
the only limited that we know of is Killua and Hie, and that just doesn't sound right based off of the... It sounds weird where it's like, now I'm kind of complaining that there's not two, when it's been nonstop two limiteds for the past yeah. two months. And right here, the, where this is where the buck starts, where I'm like, wait, where the hell is the second one? No, it's not that I want one, it's just that I was expecting one. It's a little bit weird. So it ends up going off of what it feel like, but I don't know. Maybe there's no part two, and maybe she the Kaluto is just going to show up, and that's going to be the only one. It's just weird that they just didn't show them until right now. But I think it's more likely that they just have more characters to come a little bit later. Because, yeah, this this was pretty hype for them. Like, it even got into trending for them on J- Japan side, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I would imagine there's going to be more. It, it just seems like too big of an event to not have more. In the in the My Hero uh, one, didn't Bakugo and Yuma come out later? Like they didn't yeah. come out right at the beginning, along with Deku, right? No, they didn't. They came out a little bit later. I remember because but when were they came, revealed at the same time? That's the no, question. I don't think so because I remember saying like I don't when we. I think you could actually go back and you could say like we. You could hear me going like. Damn, I just didn't really see that one coming. Actually, we can I can check on OCHD. Let me just go down a little bit. But I remember being... That was a sorry. while ago. I feel like you were rolling back a couple months. Don't worry about it. I got to scroll down. <laughs> I, got, I got the power of scroll down on it. All right, let me see. <laughs> Page down. Where have I... I've shown up in somewhere with... Fuck. Okay, this looks like... This looks like my hero dude they're showing up. So I'm going to assume that this is the correct thing. No, I'm in the... Okay, you gotta go farther down. Um, Yeah, it's a little bit weird, because like I said, this is the second collab of this one. So it's kind of like, the first one established that there would be two limiteds, and then it seems weird that the exact next one kind of bucks the trend. Because then it feels like there is no trend. (laughs) And we don't know what actually is coming up. (laughs) Well, because events like collaborative ones are hard to tell, because you never know if they're ever coming back. So you don't know if they're going to follow the normal convention either. Because they might be special one-off things, you know? Mm -hmm. And they could also just be kind of, like, trying to get things... Like, trying to make things make sense. Like, I'm sure the reason we got a free collab in this one is because they probably got reports back saying, like, yo, the the collab was cool, but also there were... (laughs) There was no uh, really good way for me to have both of them because they were both pullable. So maybe this is their way of saying, like, hey, at least you get... A version of the collab together and to be fair some of the other collabs have featured a free unit that was also a collab like what is uh uh luffy and goku is that the other one that, I'm that wasn't well that was the second anniversary um that was when they first introduced duo units like the very first time you could get them the banner ones were goku vegeta and naruto sasuke um but they also gave you a free goku luffy just so everyone could get a double tapper like a like a duo for the very mm. first time. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little bit weird. I'm now in the 3.5 anniversary, and I actually don't remember when the <laughs> My Hero collab started. Was it after? The it was movie? a while ago. It was a while ago. It Was it before or after, though? That was my question. I think it was before. Really? Okay, got to go even further down, then. Who came out for the 3.5 anniversary? Was it the other Muso? The yes. Hitman Reborn Gia- guy? Giotto and um, it was Christmas. I think Con. it was before that. I think it was before that. Yeah, you're probably. Yeah, okay. Countdown to My Hero X World Tournament. Okay. I have found it. Let's go. But I could have sworn in my. Now, nah, yeah, I'm in the, in the other thing right now. Let me see. Let me go up a little bit. Okay. World Trigger. There was Genshin. I feel like maybe they were announced at the same time, but so far what I'm looking at. Okay, part one. Yes, so there was a part two. I'm looking at it right there. It literally said part one on it. I don't know if this one is called part one, though. I don't believe that it is. I think it's just called Hunter Hunter Yu Hawk Show collaboration. Yeah, that's right. There was a part. Yeah, that's where we got Hawks and Kai, remember? Oh, no, That's no. right. Yes, yes. Okay, so yeah, there's chances are going to be a part two, and that's when the next set of dudes came out, because that's right, Yuma and Bakugo weren't there at the beginning. I think we were mentioning the fact that, actually, I wouldn't know who Yuma was at the beginning, but... No, that's right, because weren't we speculating who we thought it would be? Yes, I think we were. Because we got Deku and Jin, 
And then we were like, who is the second one going to be? I feel like we were talking about. Because yeah. we were saying stuff like, oh, it, like I think I was saying it had to be Bakugo. And you're like, oh, but it would be cool if it was, you know, All Might or whoever, someone else. But I remember discussing if we thought it was going to be Bakugo or not. Yeah, yeah, you're right. At, at least okay. in this case, they specifically mentioned that there was going to be a part two. And so far on this one, doesn't look it, but we'll see. Maybe that was added after the fact. Let me go back up. Just says Grand Alliance. On 311, Dream Collaboration, the World 2 Monster Hit. So it's likely that I think we get a part two then. In which case we get maybe another um, duo unit. And maybe we finally get the other units. Because it really does feel weird that Karama and Kuwabara are missing. It seems Yeah, a bit I weird. mean, and it's weird because they're in like the, the event From, fights. Yeah. Like, for no reason. Same like, thing. isn't Same Kuwabara's with uh, someone uh morel leorio's yeah. with chu and kurapika's with shigure for some reason oh karama's yeah. not with anybody oh maybe that's a hint so karama doesn't have one so that could be a hint then at what we're gonna get it's probably because they were they're the same element that's why they're together deep purple x spirit sword is the morel and K- kuobara one uh-huh uh maybe and then yeah yeah why ones. is there no karama yeah it's weird no Karama makes and, but it seem... you note that there's no Karama in any of the fights, but he is on the cover image of the daily event. It's Karama and the, the free units. Yeah, I feel like there has to be a part two, and that's going to have a Karama in it. Has Yoko Karama and, and someone, maybe? Could be. It could be, it could be anyone. As long as I get a ver- new version of Kuwabara, I'll be pretty happy about it. And who knows, maybe they will finally do a pullable gone in Yusuke, or maybe they'll make them more free? I actually don't know. I don't know. It's, it's well, you can weird. max this one out. Oh, can you? How do you max them out? Uh, eventually, you'll be able to get more through the event, it says, to oh, get them okay. to 99 luck. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, maybe that's that for that one. It's a real shame that this one's a free one, though, because that animation is real nice. <laughs> you just wish that they were a little bit better. Because, uh, yeah, the the animation of to- both of them together is really well done. But except for, I think, um, they're a double tap unit. They're basically a free double tap unit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for most people, it's probably not going to matter. I could probably actually just use them because I think my current one, Ace and Luffy, is really good. But also now in the age of the fucking... Um, the bastard uh, Demon Slayer characters, there's about oh, a 50%... Oh, Tanji Giyu. Yeah, there's about a 50% chance that they get enough orbs and they hit me with a um, with the fucking Jin sword and I lose my ability to defend myself and I lose my double tap. It's maybe the worst yeah. thing to happen is the, is they got released well, and Ace and Luffy got um, really fucked over. The Yusuke and Gon are the same kind of double tap. They're not turn one double tappers. They're 100% life. So oh, okay. if you get Jin swords, they won't do it either. Damn it. Damn it! All right, fine. Rip that dream then. <laughs> it's really a nasty opening move, uh, that fucking sword combo, because it happened to me once, and I was like, God damn, this entire strategy revolves around me having a double tap at the beginning. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully there's a part two. I wouldn't mind it. I have definitely enough. The thing I actually do mind is the fact that the thing that sucks is that that means I'm never pulling on that shit banner that they have set up because, oh my god, that's bad. Let's actually talk about that now because, holy shit, is that banner bad? So if you don't know, they're doing a new banner type for the side units in this one, uh, which is uh, Suzaku and the other Hunter X Hunter characters that I can't remember the name of at this exact... Miriam Knuckle and Meruem? Knuckle Brian, Knuckle. there you go. Which yeah. I had a uh, slight... I came to you like saying, like, is Knuckle Brian liked? Because if not, then I'm going to be really angry that Kuobara did not make it into the cool lab. <laughs> he is liked, though. Knuckle's I know. Knuckle's popular. So, so I, I put it down. I was like, okay. Then you told me he's basically their version of Kuobara, and I said, all right, fine. I'll stop complaining. But this is what their pickup banner is like. It's uh, first multi a thousand, second multi free, third multi guaranteed five unit, and then after and then it gets reset. Um, and on the ninth multi, you receive a guaranteed new hero. The problem is, is that these units are limited. They are limited to this gotcha only, which means that they won't appear in other gotchas, as far as we know. Um, that really sucks. 
because Suzaku is really yeah. fucking good. I feel like they're all pretty yeah, they're... strong. I mean, Suzaku yeah. is dumb. He's literally a direct upgrade of Boruto uh, Sasuke, who like just came out. Yeah. And the other two are also insanely good, just like Suzaku, because both of us are usually PvP focused. That's the first one that kind of like I actually DM Zen immediately saying, am I wrong or is this guy fucking crazy? Yeah, he's good. He's super good. Yeah, so it really sucks that they're on this banner type because nine multis for a guaranteed feature and you can't even pick which one it is. That sucks. Like, for example, nine multis is gets you the guaranteed feature for Killua and Hie. Why the hell is this banner so hard to get the feature you that you want? Yeah, it's way easier to get Killua and Hie than it is to get the one that you want of these, which yeah. is stupid. And they're both limited, so what the hell is the... There has to be some like way eventually that they're gonna add a ticket that you can guarantee get one of them, and it's gonna cost like an arm and a leg. But that ha- there has to be some. This is like one of the few cases where I'm like, they have to include something like that. Otherwise, this is just pure bullshit. <laughs> like if, when it's bad for the free to play and it's bad for the whale, then who benefits from this? No one. <laughs> it's just pure pain. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's gonna like. I'm sure some people are gonna pull on that banner. If if I get six k, I probably will just because. Suzaku's that good, and I yeah. I would always run him in PvP if I got him. Um, only, yeah, and he also. But would, like, yeah. I'm not gonna chase him. Like, it, it, that's such a bad banner. It's completely not yeah. worth trying to like chase for it. And you've tried chasing on the units where it's a little bit easier to get a guaranteed feature because the usual way it goes is that it's around multi three you get a guaranteed feature, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, and even and then on you those either, either get it or you get fucked over and you try. And yeah, even on those ones, it's not fun. Yeah, but at least it feels doable. 6k yeah. is like, I'm not doing that shit, dude. Yeah. As someone who has lost the 50-50 four times in a row and got in the unit that I already had, and that was with... Oh, a, yeah. It, it's, it just doesn't make any sense to make a banner like this. It's really bad. The only thing I can think of is if they put in something like after the 6 multi, it, it's a selection. That's the only th- way that I can think that this is like remotely acceptable. Yeah, they need to add something like that. Like, Come on, because that I mean, it's just so fucking bad. It's yeah, I w- awful. I would, I would prefer like there to be less multis. Like you, so you do, it still costs six thousand. You get six multis, but then you get a guaranteed one. I don't need a free multi. I don't need the free three and fours. Thank you very much. Just let me pick one. Yeah, just let me have them. Yeah, really. Just give yeah. me the unit. Like, I'll still pay the same amount, but save me the time of having to clear out my inventory afterward. Yeah, exactly. And that's and based on our current theory, which there is going to be more. I don't like the idea of there being more another banner like this right after this one. It's just too much, and it's all before the anniversary. I I would assume there wouldn't be a second off banner. I I feel like it would just be a second limited if there's more pullables coming. Hmm. Hmm. Unless they really want to drain you before the anniv, because my God, this plus that limited Musa banner coming out, they yeah. really want people. They like, really want you with to zero. More. They want you with no rubies. Yeah, they mm-hmm. want you with dog shit rubies. And to be fair, I think Anniversary will have a Musoi, so you'll usually get... <laughs> Musoi's are so stupid expensive that they give you enough to basically get a limited, but because it's a Musoi, all you're doing is wasting it on nine multis. <laughs> so that's how they trick yep. you into giving you basically enough for a limited, but then you don't get a limited, is that <laughs> you waste it all on the Musoi. Um, yep. So, so in theory, if you saved up, you would probably have enough for some other stuff. And if you didn't go for them, but I don't know with this kind of banner type, it just feels. It, I don't know. It leaves a bad taste in the mouth. It's very rare for me to feel just kind of bad about it. But maybe it's because it's the first time trying something like this, and it will improve over time. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But right out the gate, it just it this thing is debuting with a bad taste because they're also very good. It'd be one thing if they were just kind of like bad and you like could go collection like, units. Yeah, yeah, but they're they're literal direct upgrades of gacha units we just got, which yeah. feels bad. Yeah, which feels like how we, we were describing, like what's going to happen to the power creep in here when we have like limited like give you a, just a shit ton of healing that it feels like the current rate of dudes just aren't going to do it. And then here comes basically a new form of limiteds. Uh, strangely enough, a new form of limiteds 
that are as limited as the other ones, but they are stronger than your regular units. And sometimes maybe, depending on some of the limited, they're definitely better. Some of the older limited that we have. Yep. Um, sure yeah. are. And if you technically count this, it's because all three of these are limiteds, that would mean that this celebration so far is debuting with four limiteds. That's too yep. much. They want your gems gone for they Anna, them, bro. Yeah. They want them in the trash. And I'm holding on to them with dear life. I already lost the 8,000 something going for Yay and Killua. I don't want to lose more. To be fair, I really like Yay and Killua. I think they're really good. But. Yeah, I, I like them too. I'd like it. It was worth the wait, but at the same time, man, come on. Like I, I like I would probably have enough to do a side banner unit, like to get them if I like the characters on it. But now it feels like I don't. I don't want to even bother with it. It's too yeah, much, I, I can't too think much of anything way. worse than pulling on that and not getting the one you're after. Yeah. And because it's a one out of three, it's totally likely to happen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, the only time you really pull on that, in my opinion, is if you want all three of them, like, pretty badly. Like, mm -hmm. if you're just content with any of those, then yeah, go ahead. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Otherwise, don't touch. Yeah. And it's a weird world where I feel like this is the only time I didn't think that they would make me want to summon for Suzaku, but they've totally found a way by making him right? really they... good. <laughs> He's so good. God, I really want him, but not that much. Yeah, not that much. Nowhere near that much. Okay, uh, I think that's enough for actual Jambuti news, unless you can think of anything else to talk about before we head into the talking about these actual units. Uh, No, I think news-wise, that's all I can think of. Okay, then, let's switch on over to talking about these units. So, very quickly, let's go over the free ones. Because they're free, we won't mention what they do, but we will try and talk about what they got. Um, as we said with Yusuke and Gon, there is a little bit of weirdness with the Yusuke outfit, but overall, I think that this is actually a pretty nice-looking free unit, and one with a pretty nice animation. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I really like the animation. I, I, funny enough, I think the animation is better than Kilo and Yuse. Um, but the unit—I mean, they kind of suck, but they're free, so you know, yeah, is what it is. They suck, but they're free. The only reason people mm -hmm. even care what they do is because they want to use them. It's—it's it's what that's how you know a unit is good is that when you're disappointed a free unit is bad, it's because you actually want to use them because their animations look sick. So you're like, I have to. Find yeah, they do. I—I I made. I'm gonna make them my luck lead for blue when I'm just farming, just because they're that cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably am gonna do the same. Um. Definitely. And next we have Moral uh, Macor Macronassi. What? How do you pronounce his last name? Uh, Macronassi. 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 What is his deal? He's from Hunter X Hunter. If I'm gonna take a wild guess, what his nin power is? Is his nin power the luck of the Irish? Because he's got like a giant shillelagh in the back. Nah, he uses like pipe smoke. Ah, shit. I should have went with the pipe smoke. That made more sense, but I I just, I, I really thought it was a shillelagh in the back for some reason. Pipe smoke. <laughs> yeah, pipe smoke. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense than what I was thinking, because uh, if you don't know, now that I kind of understand what Nen is, after they gave me a full uh, breakdown of the Buddhist uh, idealism in Hunter x Hunter, I was like, well, technically it can be whatever. So I'm trying to look at this guy and thinking what he could possibly do. He got some sunglasses. He's got what I thought was a shillelagh. It turns out it was a pipe. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe it's all luck based and he hits him with like a leprechaun eventually. Something like that. But no, it's just pipe smoke. My brother's <laughs> just laughed. pipe smoke. My brother laughed at my description of what I thought this character could probably do. <laughs> so how do you feel about moral? Um, I mean, he's free, so. Okay. <laughs> Not really a character that from Hunter x Hunter that makes you go like, oh man, finally, moral macronancy. Not really. I mean, a lot of people do like him, but like, for me, he's this character. He he only shows up in the Camarion arc, and he does have a cool fight. But like, all he really does is show up and like fight sub bad guys randomly. Like mm. I I don't know. He's very like Chu or like Jin level character where he's just like. I'm a background character, and yeah, I'll get a fight, but I'm just kind of here, not but, contributing that much. But does he have an, an as amazing moment as when Chu takes out the knives and says, we're going to have a knife-edge de deathmatch? 
Uh, well, it's hard to hit match the knife, knife edge death match, but Moral does have some pretty dope moments. He fights this uh, this Chimera ant because the Chimera ants they eat people, and he fights one that can steal Nen abilities. Uh, so they ate one of his friends and stole his Nen ability. It's fucked up. Um, and so he like flood the the ant floods this arena trying to kill him, and he sits at the bottom of like the flooded arena underwater with his pipe smoke going like up through the water like a like so he can breathe mm-hmm. out into the air and then he kills the ant it's pretty cool the, his right. fights are good okay all right fair enough all right that's moral and next i'm going to go these in order of which i think is uh most uh hype for me so next we're going to talk about shiguri which we both talk about we both talked about him off screen where we said isn't it weird that they added Hiei's dude, <laughs> like his um, his uh, swordsman master, the guy who gave him the evil eye into the game? Like, I completely forgot that he even existed. I thought he was a Hunter x Hunter character up until I looked him up and like, oh, that's right. It's that guy. Yeah, it's the it's the doctor that gives Hiei the Jagat eye. Yeah. And then later on, he joins up with the... Um, the final he's in the final arc is one of like the 72 demons of that lady but he's also the weakest one i think so they just really disrespect him all around <laughs> it, it feels that way anyway um and he's the one who fights karama and then as i was saying in the anime only scene there's a scene where he says like a swordsman should never lose twice and he goes to jump to his death <laughs> uh to yep. basically kill himself and then it ends up being retconned later because he's totally still alive in a later chapter. And then you were saying, like, maybe he just got resurrected. <laughs> maybe that lady just went back for him, went to go fight his corpse and said, you're not leaving my service. And, and grabbed like, his corpse. Yeah, she's like, all right, come on. <laughs> come back. Come on. Come on. It's like, damn it, I guess I'll just continue to live in demon shame. Guess I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of all I'm, I'm really feeling about him, to be fair. I also I, like how he's like, a swordsman should never lose twice, but he doesn't really use a sword. He's like a giant ring. Yeah. And also by that token, I think he's also like low key shading Hiei and saying, I think you should also die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're alive still. <laughs> you shouldn't, you should be gone. <laughs> Been living too long, my friend. <laughs> He's way of subtweeting a mid journey. I hope he doesn't mean me. Because let me tell you, I've lost at least tw- two fights so far. I'm on my last rope here. Uh, yeah, other than that, not really much about him. Because the- that final arc of Yu Yu Hakusho is just not uh, not packing with the memorable scenes or characters. Which is a shame. Because I, feel I like think there's... it has some good moments, but it's super rushed. Because that was like yes. right when Togashi was starting to get his... like terrible back pains and everything yeah he he, he um, stopped it early so he was just like i just want to be done yeah he was in back pain but then he was also just angry because of the constant back pain so he just ended it uh super early which is a shame because i actually think some of the stuff that they were building up was interesting like i like uh, the anime does it a little better they expand on some stuff that the manga does not expand on which is nice yeah it is um which is funny because apparently one of his favorite characters is actually Makuro, who's from that final arc, and she just doesn't get enough screen time of anything. She has like this yep. insane detailed backstory, but then they don't really ever <laughs> do much with her other than have this really fucked up backstory. Um, but yeah, so he's in there. You can get him for free if you beat him twice. He's now losing multiple times because let me tell you, I have been grinding him and he's lost more than two times. <laughs> He's lost at least 17 times based off how much I've been grinding. And the next, we got Bui, the axe guy from <laughs> Team Bui. Tiguro. The man, Bui. Bui. The, the, most, the, the, the character who I most remember having the moment where he's fighting that one guy. And the guy goes, like, he has a big axe. It's going to take him a real long time to swing at me. That's his weakness. And then he just, like, immediately one-shots him. He's like, actually, no, I yeah, don't have that. Yeah, just explodes the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and that's his best moment. We, in my, in my opinion, is way cooler before he takes the armor off. Yeah, once he takes off the armor, he gets a little bit less cool. He's just like an anime boy with a Super Saiyan aura. 
<laughs> and yeah. it's like, okay. And he's like, I just want to beat the Tagoros. I've gotten this strong so I can beat the elder Tagoro, the younger Tagoro. And the younger Tagoro's like, I wonder what your Meshi's going to fight like. Like, I I totally don't yeah. care about your presence right don't now. Don't give a shit about boy. Yeah. And then he beats the absolute piss out of him. So He does. Um, which is a shame. Because I really do like his look. And I like the giant axe. But I think it's like those ending moments of how he kind of goes out is kind of make me like, eh. Boy, he's cool, but um, definitely... The coolest thing about him is the ass-beating he receives from Hiei. (laughs) Yes. And again, when he swings that axe and just automatically whoops that dude in one hit, that's like his two claims to fame in my eye. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, His two moments. Yeah, his two moments, which to be fair, some characters don't even have one moment. So that he has two moments. That's true. Some characters get nothing. Yeah. And talking about a character that lives on exactly one moment, we got Chu, who is the most hyped free character yeah. in the world. <laughs> I love Chu. I love this idiot. Every time I look at him, I go, hell yeah, Chu. He's the man. Fuck yeah, it's true. Hell yeah. Giving one of the greatest moments in Yu Yu Hakusho when he very drunkenly suggests, I don't even remember because like, sometimes I forget it. He has like an English accent in the American one, right? It's Jin. Who uh, has, it's like, not the... English. It's some kind of like C- Cockney, maybe English, but it's not like British, like pomp British. It's like might be Cockney. Yeah. Yeah. I know Jin has the the heavy like Irish, like oh <laughs> yeah, he's like <laughs> straight up, yeah, like an Irish leprechaun. Oh my boy, you're eventually. I'm looking at it over there. Oh, I'm telling you right now, he's too fast to go uh, there. He's apparently, like, Chu's a- accent is Australian. Australian, there you go. For, forgive me to all the Australian uh, people out there for getting that misremembery. Um, yeah, he's the reason we have the greatest name for a fight ever in the Knife Edge Death Match. Like that shit was so cool. It was so unbelievably cool. cool. It is the coolest an anime has ever gotten is the Dark Tournament. When that's when you knew, like when when you consider like that happens early on in the Dark Tournament, and that's not the high point of the entire tournament. That's when you know your arc is just a pure banger. <laughs> when you know uh-huh. it's just too it's good. a banger from start to finish. Oh, it's so good, and then like just beating the shit out of each other. It's fantastic. Um, and I'm glad Chu's in there because I think that moment's uh, pretty awesome. And I was kind of sad that there was no Chu, so I'm glad Chu's here. And if uh, th- if that one moment is enough to him for him to have his one time in the, in the sun, then I'm all good for it, man. Because again, that moment, fucking amazing, absolutely well done. <laughs> uh, it's maybe also the most like if when someone goes like, of course, Shonen fans would like this. It's maybe the most like Shonen Shonen moment of all time. <laughs> Where someone goes like, how could you like this? It's just pure violence. And you just go, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just cool ass violence. It is. So I'm glad to have him in there. He's free. You can uh, go grind him up. And I'm glad he's kind of here now. All right. Let's go to the actual units that have uh, stuff in them now. Let's start with the super limited dudes. And we'll end on the, the showstopper. Let's start with... Uh, Suzaku. Okay, so his ultimate is the Prism of the Seven Lightning Wave. It inflicts 480% damage to one enemy. And if the enemy is tank class, inflict an additional 60% damage. Until the end of the next turn, inflict uh, 8,800 shock damage per turn to all enemies. While the enemies are afflicted by shock, inflict additional damage each turn equal to the number of the bubbles popped by this unit during the turn. Uh, Time 770. Support is a devastatingly beautiful tune. Convert four random bubbles to rainbow. For four turns, boost the attack of all team members by 24%. For four turns, burst the attack of this unit's buddy by 50%. For four turns, inflict 7,000 bleed damage per turn to one enemy. While the target is afflicted by bleed, if you connect one or more bubble of this unit's buddy that is the same as their own color, by the end of that turn, inflict an additional... Uh, shit. 22,000 damage can only be activated once per turn. Uh, his passive is Leader of the Four Saint Beasts. Reduce the number of buddies sealed by buddy skill, uh, seal for this unit by two. Before this unit's turn, convert one Heart Bubble to Rainbow. Boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from Yu Yu Hakusho by 10%. Boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from Hunter x Hunter by 10%. And that is Suzaku. Uh, holy shit. 
have they given this man enough? Because it feels like they gave yeah, him Yeah, that, that dude, he's so good. Like, I I don't know if he's, like, that crazy good for PvE. That's not my realm. Um, in PvP, he's ridiculous. He's fucking ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So the he is a, a couple percentage points higher than the Boruto uh, Sasuke gives in attack. Mm-hmm. And he's higher than... Uh, people like Fugo, because what? Well, let me see what Fugo gives. Fugo will give you. Never mind, I lied. He's not higher than them. Mm-hmm. I forgot how absolutely bonkers Fugo is. Uh, was that seventy nine percent? Okay, so, but he's close. Fugo gives seventy nine. This gives seventy four percent. Um, but he also gives. Bleed like straight up, just as a buddy skill. Bleed for the entire run. Mm-hmm. So if you use him with your leader, the enemy will have bleed through the entire round of PvP. Which means that now, the like if you get him, the issue with using Susano Sasuke was that like he was reliant on having a bleeder in the party. Now doesn't matter. <laughs> you can just use Susano Sasuke whenever you want. Who hits like four hundred and forty five hundred and forty five percent on his alt if they have bleed? Like it's fucking. She's wild. Yeah. V- very crazy. Very just like, geez. It's it's not the fact that he like, like obviously like you said, the attack boost. It's even more than that. It's 551%. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, it's the fact that he does so much. Like he does what yeah, basically. Yeah, he does so much for no reason. Yeah. The only thing he's. It, is... is this the biggest buff to a mo- like the most forgettable character in this game? Like. Yes. Is, is this the highest gap between how good he is and how good he is in the show? Yes, because the character that I think would probably be the limit that's closer to what he does here mm-hmm. is um, Bobo Pachanosuke. And he is at least a fusion of three of the main characters. And it, the joke is, is that he's only here for like two minutes because that's how long the fusion lasts. But for those two minutes, he makes the hell out of whatever he has and he's cool. Suzaku is from a universally hated arc from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, he's from the worst arc of Yu Yu Hakusho. He's by far the most forgettable Yu Yu Hakusho villain. Like, easily. What's he here for? What's he is- doing here? Why is he so good? Why is he so insanely good? Yeah, out of all the Yu Yu Hakusho characters to make the poll, because he's the uh, only one. And yeah, he's-, he's the only gacha one from Yu Yu Hakusho. And I'm going to say right now, I think he's better than most of the limited outside of Hiei and the new uh, Hiei uh, Killua. He's better than the other limiteds, isn't he? I like him more more than the other two, but that's just because he's better in PvP. You'd have to ask someone other than me if they're PvP better or I PvE know, better. I actually think that Meruem um, is pretty funny because he gives the meme flat 69%. I mean, yes, that's pretty good. Uh, that's also what I was going to say about Miriam. That's why I also like him. But in terms of a character that gets, he got like the um, <laughs> what the what do we call it? The treatment from the Sword Boy. Like remember where it's a character that almost now like the the percentage of people who are gonna like this character is so small. We may as well make them busted <laughs> just to justify. I guess. But I don't even know why he's in this event because Shigure and Chu are both in the final arc of Yu Hakusho. They're yeah. both in the the Demon World tournament. Which obviously Mazuku Yusuke also like it's from the beginning of that, and then yeah. they're just oh also Bui and Suzaku. <laughs> it is fucking strange because like you said, me and you can tell from just the way me and Zen talk about Yu Yu Hakusho that Yu Yu Hakusho is well loved between us, some of the best shit ever made. We both don't like Suzaku. <laughs> it's no, very no, rare. Suzaku is by far the worst villain in the fucking series. Easily easily and yet somehow <laughs> this man <laughs> has the balls to not only be amazing but to also basically be a pseudo limited <laughs> it's it's insane to me um but yeah he definitely just does he gets the most bang for your buck out of everything because he's like with the with the effect of like three separate units in one and yeah, he maybe doesn't give as much attack as the rest, and maybe if there was more, someone more dedicated to giving bleed damage, they would do a little bit more. Or maybe someone who's more dedicated to making rainbow bubbles. It doesn't matter. When you do all of them together, and it's all solid, like, it's just it's just insane. Yeah, it's just covering so many bits. Like, 
four rainbow bubbles is the same amount that uh, Pain gives. And Pain gives 6% more attack, but he doesn't apply the bleed. Yeah. So it's like, fuck, man. Yeah. I really like Suzaku in PvP, man. I really like him. I'm going to be totally bummed when I inevitably don't get him. Yeah, I'm going to... I can't wait to see you get very angry and then uh, uninstall Jampudi and then I have to talk to someone who does not play the game. (laughs) There's absolutely no chance I uninstall over Suzaku, of all things. All right, to put that on there. If I see you uninstalling, I'm going to clip this out of context and we'll put that up there. (laughs) Okay, deal. Fair enough. Uh, Yeah, so that's Suzaku. And in terms of his character, we cannot downplay this man hard enough. He really, like, the best moment from this arc is when Hiei just one shots that guy, and the anime ruins that scene because it makes the fight longer. (laughs) Yep. Like, the fight in the anime is so. Yeah, it's, it's so long. crazy long. In the in the manga, it just makes a lot more sense because just like works. Here, here's actually the other thing that's good from this arc: Botan's outfit. That's about yes. <laughs> Botan fan. getting like a major role in in a good outfit, and she's clubbing dudes with a baseball bat. Like it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. That is like the ultimate like style guy. That's how when people look back at old anime art and they look at Botan, she basically is an entire style and mood to herself. Um. It, we should have gotten that instead of Suzaku. <laughs> yeah, we really. I would be give his exact kit to a uh, baseball bat, Botan. Yeah, and then we would both uh, uninstall Jimpudi as we would both try and go for her. In- <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> that I would definitely uninstall over baseball bat Botan, not Suzaku though. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. So yeah, that's his unit. We really, you really should not pull on that banner, but I'm not gonna fault you if you do, just because he does so much. And maybe if you're someone who's more f- uh, happy with just the PVE aspects, I think you're just you're you're lucky. Well, un- unless you get Suzaku, in which case you have a unit that I'm not sure how he would do in PVE. I do like his uh, passive giving to Yu Hakusho and Hunter X Hunter characters. All the uh, limited dudes have that ability, but I like that just as like an idea for like a funny like team build. Like having yeah, like a hunter. cool little team up team. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that's cool, especially since I would assume that um, uh, Gon and Yusuke and Killua and Hiei would get both of those effects, so it'd be like a tiny boost to them if you had them on the team. But yeah, that's Suzaku. Uh, let's go on to the next character, Knucklebine. Knucklebine. His ultimate is called Hakoware. Inflicts 450% damage to one enemy. For two turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of red team members by 12%. 25% in the tower. For two turns, weaken all enemies by 25%. His support is called I'm Going to Smash This Bastard Up For Sure, which is a great name. <laughs> it's right up there for... Uh, fuck. Do you know the name of Hiei's support ability? It's really funny. The the current Hiei or which yeah, one? The, 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 the limited Hiei. What his buddy skill is the, called? The, the, the limited, limited Hiei. Yeah. Um, not the Killua one, but the one by himself? Yes. Yeah, you know, I do, and it's amazing. It it's the is, best one in the game, by far. It is by far the greatest buddy skill. If you don't know what it is, it's called If You Want to Die, Kill Yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> it is without a doubt the best named buddy skill in the entire game. Yeah, 100%. I uh, just wanted to bring that up because I realized that a little while ago and I said, that's amazing. And it put me down a rabbit hole to look up other buddy skills. And my conclusion is that he is, is the best one. I forget who says it, but there's one that says just, I don't discriminate, <laughs> which I think is a very funny <laughs> buddy skill name because it seems like you're protesting a little bit much. But anyway, let's move on to Knucklebind support, what it actually does. Converts the right bubble below the center to a skill bubble and boosts its blast radius by one. Converts the bubble below the center to rainbow, excluding skill bubbles. Recovers 3,000 HP. For three turns, boosts the ultimate attack damage of all enemy members by 22%. For all three team turn- members. All, te- all team members, my bad. For that would be turns- bad if he boosted all the enemy attack for oh, three that, turns. That would be bad. Uh, for three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from Yu Yu Hakusho by 12%. For three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from Hunter x Hunter by 12%. His passive is called Beast Hunter. 
uh, reduces bleed damage received for this unit by 4,100. Boosts this unit's attack by 7%. If this unit's ultimate attack is activated at the end of the turn, up to 6 blue bubbles will be shot at one enemy, inflicting 2,950x the number of bubbles shot as fixed damage. And that is Knucklebine. Uh, how you feeling about Knuckle and what he does? I think he's kind of neat. Like, the, uh, the fact that he gives a pretty nice-sized alt boost to red... It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, and then he also has some weird, like, side tech. Like, technically, if you put him with Hiei, the the Hiei was getting, what, uh, 34% up because of the Yu Hakusho giving 12% and then 22% from uh, ultimate attack Mm -hmm. damage. So that's pretty nice. I also like that they've kind of made his support uh, give rainbow bubbles, so that way you could use him with any... Uh, Yu Hakusho or Hunter X Hunter character because other way this way he's not only limited to red though you want to use red for that ability to boost the ultimate attack damage actually no it's not limited to red it's just anyone so it's it's kind of nice that they fought ahead a bit like well if we make him make red bubbles then you can only really use them with red hunter just red yeah yeah yeah. Uh, so kind of smart on that one he's another character who actually has the super Vegito mechanic not a lot of people have that mechanic at the moment. Like, I think the only free yeah, one is it's still like, the PvP one that we just got. Oh, the Hoshinengi guy? Yeah, I think that's the only one that's not unlimited that has that uh, mechanic. Yeah, because I know Super Vegito has it, Osiris Yugi has it. Uh, um, Bakugo and Yuma? Bakugo and Yuma, yeah. And I think Naruto? That sounds right. Sage Naruto? I'll go with a yes. I'll, I'll say yeah. That 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 makes sense. And his ultimate is very simple, but on PvE stuff, it's actually pretty nice because he gives weaken and he also increases the ultimate attack damage of red team members. So pretty nice. Uh, it lasts only two turns, but that's fine. That's usually enough, especially if you're constantly ulting. So I think in terms of a unit, they've done a pretty uh, good job of making him kind of not overly busted in one aspect but kind of useful in both. Not like the best, obviously, but still very useful if you uh, got him and can be used in some kind of fun ways if you want to do it that way. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad on this one. Obviously, compared to Suzaku, who's just so laser-focused on PvP, it, it, it can sometimes feel a little bit one-sided, but I think that's probably a more smart way of building a unit, a unit that you could probably use. Yeah, probably. Both. Yeah. And uh, you actually know Knucklebine, and you've told me he's good, so I'm not going to come... I will say, when I saw No Kuwabara and I saw a guy named Knucklebine, it did make me a little bit angry. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Kuwabara does get done a little bit dirty in this game. I won't fight you on that, but... Yeah. Hopefully, if there is a part two, he'll get a little bit of justice here, but it is nice to know that at least the spirit of Kuwabara is here by the Hunter x Hunter version of Kuwabara. Of being basically a delinquent who smashes shit up, and I assume you said he's instead he's he's a cool bar that's specked into dogs instead of cats. Yeah, basically, he uh, instead of specking the cat line, he he specked dogs. Yeah, so he there's like a clear delineate delineation. No, that's not how you pronounce that word. My words fail me. Uh, delineation, maybe. Uh, thank you very much. That's the word I was looking for. Even down to the hair, kind of looking similar they have the same yeah kind of he's like, still got the punk hair and everything the punk yeah. attitude yeah and I, as much as i was angry when i first saw him the name knuckle bine is a pretty good name i won't hate on the fact of a man named knuckle it's like one step away from knuckles it's just missing the s <laughs> he's only one knuckle yeah he's not the plural no he's not multiple knuckle he only needs the one knuckle and he's good to go and that's knuckle bine and finally the last one which is the hunter x hunter man that i know because hunter x hunter people don't stop talking about him it's miriam yep uh his ultimate is what a pain inflict 480 percent damage to one enemy and if the enemy is afflicted by bleed inflict an additional 55 percent damage for three turns yellow bubbles have an 80 percent chance to spawn as rainbow bubbles maximum of three uh support you are an important guest convert one block red green and yellow bubble to rainbow charge your legend summon gauge by six percent 
For one turn, boost the attack of all blue members by 69%. 79% of unity battle. It's so funny that it's 69%. I know it's a dumb <laughs> thing to laugh about, but it's just funny. It is very funny. I won't deny that. Uh, passive unreachable monster um, reduces the number of turns of weakening for this unit by two. In the boss room, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble for this unit by one. Boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from the Yu Yu Hakusho by 10%. Boost the ultimate attack damage of team members from Hunter x Hunter by 10%. And that's Miriam. So, funny enough, it seems like this is a character that actually works best in... It seems like they want you to use him in Unity Battle based off of the 79% increase. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that's cool. Like, I like units to do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very interesting to kind of uh, make them this way. But even then, I think the the ult with the dealing 55%, and actually, like, the weird little, like, yellow bubbles might have... It has, like, an 80% chance of making uh, rainbow bubbles, because rainbow bubbles can be extremely helpful when you've got, like, nothing going on on your board, especially in, like, PvE stuff where it's easy to kind of just get fucked over by that stuff, and you have limited uses of your, like, buddy skills and stuff. Uh, so I like that. Um, he also has like a little nice little angel wings. I don't know much about Miriam, so I don't know if they've done Rim right by this, but it seems pretty good to me. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, he should probably have a limited. He's like the strongest character in Hunter Hunter that we've seen so far. But like, um, the sprite's really good. It, it's from a very cool moment in Hunter Hunter. Um, God, I can't believe he's seasonal. Gotcha. That just sucks so much ass. It does. Um, That's he's a- he's fine though. I mean, that's why they put him up there, because they knew people would want him. Do you think that this is actually their way of creating more limited villains? This new style of... Because they have, like, a specific weird issue, like you said. Like, whenever they do an actual limited, like, real-ass limited unit, um, they always make an event over it being a villain. Do you think this new style of limited is their way of making more strong villains? And then putting them in this banner that basically is, like, really hard to get? Seems like a bad solution. Uh, maybe. Seems like yeah, kind of it a... seems like a really shitty solution to that problem. But yeah, it's, it seems maybe. like they've they've made the problem worse <laughs> by trying to fix it. It seems like the option the actual option was, hey, maybe you ease up on that shit and release more of them the regular way. But like, I could see eventually like all the big villains getting like this, like uh, Aizan from Bleach definitely having one of these style of characters. Like, anyone that you can think of a villain that has been just gotten in a free-to-play character and not, has not received a actual banner unit, I could see them probably thinking, like, this is a good way for us to kind of do to them um, a limited without actually being a limited. A pseudo-limited, as I called them a little bit earlier. Because um, there's definitely people who would pull just for this guy. If he was an actual limited and he had the full nine... And you oh, just for sure. Yeah. Uh, everyone would. Yeah, 100%. No questions asked. Absolutely none. Like, there's not a shadow of doubt in my mind that people would pull on that. So maybe it makes me feel like that's why they're doing it this way, but maybe we'll see when the next, if there's a part two and there's more, we'll see what kind of choices they make. But I do think it's very interesting that mm-hmm. of the three characters, two of them were villains. And, yeah. I'm yeah, now that, I didn't think about that until you just pointed it out. But yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know much about Mary. I know a lot of people like him, though. Um, I hope to eventually get to him and figure out what's going on with him. <laughs> Other than just kind of vaguely understanding uh, that he looks like a certain way. But yeah, I wouldn't mind if 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 I ever did the full six and I got a one and a half chance i wouldn't mind getting him even though i don't know much about him because i do like his look here especially with the uh the wings he's got there in the back i think it's cool so there you go miriam we'll see how things go from there finally the 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 showstopper the one we all came here to talk about the big one uh, of course, right when I say that is when I have to, I could not find the info for them. There they are. We have Killua and Hie. So, their ultimate is Godspeed and Dragon of the Darkness Flame. It inflicts 500% of damage to one enemy. For one turn, inflict 5% attack down to one enemy. Inflict, uh, 10,000 fixed damage to enemy. Recover 1,000 HP, uh, 10,000 HP in the tower. Support, I promise I'll never betray them. Never. 
which doesn't sound like something he he would say. So That's maybe, a killer thing. Yeah, I was gonna say he had no input on that one. <laughs> he never promised he yeah. would betray them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall ever promising that. <laughs> Yeah, he is like, I don't remember that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Let me just say, if I, if I could give Kuwabara a drink of water and that would save his life, I would really, t- I would really like take a huge sip of water right in front of him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> convert a random bubble to skill <laughs> bubble. Convert a total of seven red, green, and black bubbles to yellow. For one turn, guard 29% of all damage received for yellow team members. Uh, passive is Godspeed and Darkness Flame, which is the exact same as their ultimate, except for it's there's no dragon of the in the in the name. <laughs> Reduce the number of buddies sealed by buddy skills uh, seal for this unit by two. Boost this unit's attack by thirteen percent, twenty one percent in tower. On turn four, nine, and twelve of the adventure, uh, activate double tap. These units will get two actions. On turn four, nine, and twelve, the adventure at the start of the turn change charge their legend summon gauge by ten percent. And that's them. Very simple of what they do. Um, I actually have this unit, so I can actually talk about them. <laughs> it's very rare for me to ever uh, have the limited. But I'll let uh, Zen go first. Zen, how you feeling about them? I like them a lot. Um, I actually like them for PvP. Mm-hmm. They, they're kind of, they remind me of uh, Part 4 Jotaro, but just better. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I really like them. Yeah, I've been. I, I think I agree at the same time. I've been using them in a kind of pseudo uh, all light team, which is nice because they have that stupid, crazy legend summon gauge that gives them like fifty percent up um, attack, and it stacks. I think <laughs> so. By the end, uh, the the final uh, yellow unit, the the final lightning unit with. That ability just has like insane like they do. I think at times they do more damage on their regular attack than they do in their ult for me, just because they have so much stacked of that buff because I use it constantly. Um, but yeah, they're uh pretty nice. I like using them, and I finally have a unit I can use on turn four. That's very good. They are very good for sure. Uh. Yeah, and their animation's really sick, too. That's what I gotta say. It's a shame I can't actually make the full lightning team. I'm missing Hydeo. Which is, I think, the one dude I need most. Zen, are you there, by the way? I'm here. Okay, you have to talk occasionally, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose internet at any given time. (laughs) Oh, sorry. <laughs> you were just going. I was just letting you do your thing. I know, I know. Um, that that's that's what was scaring me. <laughs> like, no, I, like, oh. I, I, uh, I really like them because um, so they have the same uh, like ultimate multiplier as Part Four Jotaro. They're both five hundred percent at maximum. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Part Four Jotaro just gets a small HP recovery. It's like twelve hundred, mm-hmm. twelve thousand. But still, that's not very much. Uh, whereas instead, they do. A similarly minuscule amount of damage, but they get they do ten thousand fixed to the opponent and then recover ten thousand to themselves. So it's two thousand less self recovery, but they also do ten thousand fixed to the enemy. Mm-hmm. And then also Jotaro's passive gives him eighteen percent, whereas theirs gives them twenty one percent, and they get ten percent to their legend summon gauge on the last turn, just to make sure you get a legend summon off. I I really like them. Yeah, 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 I'm I'm much in the same way. I've been still experimenting, trying to find the right team to kind of go with them. Like I said, I'm kind of like currently running with a half uh, lightning team. I would go full lightning if I had the other good units to kind of go with that team. <laughs> I unfortunately don't. I really just have Yuna and I have them, so I have to kind of make do with what I got. Um, High Dio usually is the good one for lightning because he's a double tapper on turn one and he can technically benefit from their legends charge gauge if the ai decides to use it or something Mm -hmm. um yeah and they're really the reason why i also want suzaku (laughs) so annoying yeah i want suzaku it's funny that like uh, i want suzaku so bad almost more than i wanted kilo and he because like i knew i could get kilo and he right like that wasn't in question yeah. but the fact that it's so hard to get suzaku i'm sitting here like god damn it i want him so bad <laughs> i'm molding over the fucking rate of suzaku. I know, me too i'm like heated about it 
unbelievable. There's like <laughs> multiple reasons to be angry. The batter's bad and it's fucking Suzaku. They could have made it any Yu Yu Hakusho character, but it had to be him. With his fucking shit eating grin and his terrible fucking pipe and his peacock shit or whatever, <laughs> based off of what St. Beast is. <laughs> it's pure anger coming from him. But yeah, the f- they did that on purpose. That's why they're lightning. <laughs> That's why he's lightning. Um, so yeah, that's how I know they're good is that it makes me want to have more units to kind of support what they do and keep using them. And yeah, I'm real happy. It was worth the wait. I skipped a lot of dudes to get to this point. I skipped so much. I so badly wanted to summon on Sabo, but I, I fought everything against myself to make sure I didn't do it. So I had enough for. So that you had enough for. Well, and that it sucks now because you had made sure to have enough for two limited. So if there's only one limited, you could have gotten Sabo and them. Uh, d- don't remind me. I will be livid if there's no. <laughs> currently, there's a, not a second a, limit. I'm currently on that high copium, <laughs> waiting for that part two. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna finally give me my Kuwabara, and then I'm gonna get my, <laughs> I'm gonna get my Tagoro and Krolo character. <laughs> Just high levels of copium all around me. Un- we are reaching unattainable levels. <laughs> That's how badly I want that part two, so I can get more characters. Um, yeah. Yeah, but it, it was that, definitely... That, I don't know. It is kind of a confusing event, but... It is a little bit. I think uh, OCHD has also said, this event's very confusing and weird. And when they're saying that, I'm like, damn. You actually look inside the guts of the game, so if you're here telling me this, <laughs> then I don't know what to expect now. Oh, here's another weird thing. I, I, that's another reason why I didn't realize Bu Bui was different. Is that his? He was when he was revealed. He was in his attack form where he without the helmet. That's why I didn't recognize him real right away, because he didn't have the weird uh, helmet on. Uh, anyway, yeah. If they're the only limited, then I'll be happy because they're really good and they're really strong and they have a lot of cool animations and stuff. So I'll be happy with my savings, but. Definitely doesn't mean I don't want more. That's what I'll say right there. So yeah, that's that's the, my ending feeling on that one for them. And it's a pretty good pair. It's the most making sense pair. Yeah, this is not a, a Deku and Jin situation. This is no the most popular character from both. And not, and not a Yuma and Bakugo either, where Yuma and Bakugo looked like they were Goosebumps uh, villains together. <laughs> who are Goosebumps Yeah, boys. why did it make Bakugo look like evil in that? He does, but it's because they they uh, rightly realize that the peak Bakugo is when he's an evil asshole. That's true. That is peak Bakugo. When he when he has the mindset of like, I'm the greatest thing in the world. How dare this trash offer me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> How dare he breathe my breath, <laughs> the air that I breathe. breathe my air. Stupid quirkless loser. That's what he's looking. And then Yuma's like, yeah, tell him Bakugo. <laughs> That's how he looks like when he's next to him. And like I said, Deku and Jin next to each other look like uh, Jin's taking his younger brother Deku out for his first cosplay convention. He really does look like he's like standing in line with a cosplayer. Yeah. Like, all right, we're going to get your autograph and then we're going to go home. All right, and we're going to get McDonald's, right? Yeah, we're going to get some McDonald's. <laughs> it's a nice old W in you. And he's also <laughs> pretending like he's cosplaying because he's got like the sword, but he's like doing a little bit of low effort. <laughs> compared to his brother who's on full decked out gear yeah he and kill would just like make sense next to each other and fun F- someone actually mentioned that the the the, the Killua just straight up looks like Killua. his head's just slightly bigger uh compared to his hunter x hunter version and i would say the same for here i wonder if it's because they're both short that they just both look kind of exactly the same. Like, this is obviously some of the best sprite for both of these characters compared to the other characters. Actually, maybe he, he is a little bit different because he got a limited. And I think that limited actually looks pretty all right from what I remember. But definitely for Killua, that's the best sprite for him. For Yusuke, the best Yusuke sprite is definitely that collab sprite. It's like beyond a shadow. Oh, yeah, doubt. for sure. Um, but yeah, they make sense together. They fit together. Very similar characters, except for Killua eventually learns to be like, I like my friends. And then he, like I said, if he was watching Kuwabara drown, he would like pull up a chair 
at least check it out for a bit to see, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> I'm not saying that he would let him die, but I'm just saying he would probably see where it goes. See if he can get up himself. Maybe it's being a little bit too mean to Hiei, but that's basically how I like to picture Hiei. <laughs> As like, I'll help out. Eventually. I'm just gonna let this rock and see where it goes first. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay, this is an important question. Go ahead. Say there is a part two. Yes. Who who do you, who do you want the limited to be to make it worth it? Other than Kuobara, because it's not going to be Kuobara. I can why one Kuobara and Suzaku. That's that's the, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the the hit unit that I want. Um, let's see. It's a little bit tough because uh, yeah, I kind of like the Krolo who looks like Snake. You know which one I'm talking about? The because there's two forms of Krolo, which I they look so different to me that I didn't even realize that they were the same character. Oh, with like the headband. Yeah, that's the version. And his I hair like. down. Yeah, not the yeah, one. Yeah, that's the version everyone one. likes more. Not the slick back, creepy forehead one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Thank you on that one. I want the one that looks kind of like Snake. That's the yeah. that's the one I like, and probably that one with someone from Yu Yu show that's not Suzaku. <laughs> Who's the rock guy <laughs> from the Saint Beast? Genbu. <laughs> Krolo and Genbu, the the unbeatable duo. <laughs> um, I really do think it the the one you mentioned where it's the 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 two villains. It's older Tagoro. Probably I wouldn't, but funny enough, the ones that would probably make the most sense looking next to each other from Yu Hakusho next to Krolo would probably be. Uh, Sensui, because they kind of like have a similar build. And yeah, well, Sensui and Krolo are actually paired as enemies in one of the fights, so that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, they just make like thematically they look similar enough that when they're put together, it's like yeah, that's a a making sense pair. Where when Tagoro's next to anyone, his just giant muscles take over anything <laughs> that would be like if anything, he should be next to Gon. It should be Taguro and Gone, and that would be maybe <laughs> the most hilarious. Or um, His uh, Hisoka put put the put the pervert clown next to. It's basically the same thing. If you actually put Hisoka and they do the same pose as he does with his brother, uh, take my money right here. If it's like Taguro in the outfit, and instead of his brother hanging from his shoulder, it's Hisoka <laughs> with his tall ass next to him, then that's a it's a perfect unit in my eyes. <laughs> that's pretty good. What about you? How do you feel? What do you think? Uh, I would like it to be Karama and somebody. I don't know who. But yeah. I just like Karama a lot. Yeah, Kurapika would make the most sense because they're basically similar. I mean, for a very yeah, long I mean, time. He's, you, you he's just the Kurapika him. counterpart. The, yeah. You know, they're the same, basically. Yeah. Um, I but Kurapika's already on one of the events. So. Yeah. He's so. with Shigure for some reason. He is, but we'll see if that means anything by the time. Yeah, it's true. That might not mean anything, but yeah. Yusuke and Hiei didn't get paired up with anybody else. so. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I will be interested to see if they do anything. If they, if Yusuke and Gon really do stay as free. I don't know if they would maybe make sense of something as like a... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe one of the super... Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. Because like I said, there's a lot of versions of Yusuke that we just don't have for whatever reason. Funny enough, we have the one where he pretends to be Keiko. We have that version of Yusuke, but we do not have... This is the classic uniform. The That version of him. Which is just funny when you look at the actual, like, all the Yusukes. Like, if you look at a lot of the Gokus, you know, it's a lot of Super Saiyan Gokus. It's a lot of the Gokus that you kind of come to know and expect. But when you look at Yusuke, it's like, I don't understand how you have not included this version of him yet. Seems kind of silly that you haven't. But I digress. Yeah, other than that, I'm trying to think of any other characters. Like, obviously, for some other characters that I'd kind of like to see, besides Kuwabara. I'd kind of like a new Liaro. I think he's probably in the same boat as Kuwabara of... He, yeah, he's the Kuwabara, basically, of the main four. Yeah, kind of sucks that he's just a four, so a five version would be kind of nice. Maybe as, like, another free or something. Um, Who else from... Yu Hakusho, yeah. Other than I think it'd be really funny to include the rock guy because Suzaku, Suzaku's here. I don't actually want to see the rock guy. Genbu. <laughs> uh, Genbu. 
maybe that tiger guy from the same Saint Beast. Biako. Like, uh, but if on, yeah, Biako. <laughs> but only because I really like it how they kill him in the opening. <laughs> I, I think... like how uh, they kill him, and then he comes back just to get immediately killed again. Oh, that's right. He does do that immediately. I like uh, when Kuwabara spirit swords all his uh, uh, tigers. That's oh, cool. the, the spirit beast donut. Yeah, the spirit beast donut. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> again, there's parts of Saint Beast that I like. It's just not Zizaku. <laughs> it's the end point. Yeah, that's the, really the, the ending of that arc is way worse than the rest of it. Yeah, the, again, there's good moments, but then you go to the final, and it's like, uh, not good. Again, from Hunter x Hunter side, no, Hisoka makes me a little bit suspicious. We don't have a ban. Do we have, like, only the old version of the banner version of Hisoka, right? Yes. The, yeah. Uh, so I could definitely see them. If there was anyone else from here that would kind of make sense as a limited, it's probably him. Just because of how much he's used and stuff. They could include the the, the the muscular version of that little girl. Biscuit Biscuit Kruger. Oh, Biscuit? <laughs> oh my god, what if it's 100% Elder Taguro and it's Jack Biscuit? <laughs> it's the second limited. Are you kidding me? You automatically pull in. <laughs> I wouldn't do that in a, in a heartbeat. <laughs> they also don't have the fat guy. I don't know if he ever is in any other Hunter x Hunter arc but the first one, but there's no fat guy. <laughs> do you know who I'm talking about? Fat guy fat from guy. The, the fat guy from the first arc, the one who's like on no purpose idea failing. who the fat guy from the first arc is. The the guy who's on purpose trying to fail. I got nothing. Really? Okay, let me see if I can find his name. If, this is why we need Penta here, because Penta would be like, "Oh, do you mean him?" And he would know perfectly <laughs> who the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe if I type in <laughs> Hunter X Hunter fat guy, it will show up. <laughs> okay, it did. It on put. <laughs> I bet Tampa. I like, uh, to be fair, there are multiple fat guys, so. Oh, him! Yeah, who who gives people the uh, the spiked drinks? Yeah, and uh, a kilo of drinks, and he's like, "Thanks for the spiked drink, bro." And gone, <laughs> and gone, just like this smells like shit. I'm not gonna take it. Yeah. So, maybe put him up there. He's on the same tier as Sazaku, as far as I'm concerned. He was more of an effective villain than. <laughs> than he was uh yeah it's really a shame that i just don't know enough hunter x hunter characters in the beginning stuff it's like uh it's basically hisoka it's the weird like fucking yo-yo guy from one of the early arts. rinku how do you know his name but when i tell you about fat guy from the beginning you don't oh know- wait are you talking about the one from hunter hunter i was talking about the one from you oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about because the one they both hunter. have yo-yo fighters they do they do they both have yo-yo fighters which is why i, I mentioned that there's the dog that hunts that uh guards killua's uh door <laughs> i remember that guy i just need more this is the one the one sad thing about like not just being i wasn't able to finish hunter x hunter in time it's not because i wasn't interested i just ran out of time Busy man. Busy man doing busy stuff. But, yeah. We'll wait and see. What... I like Hunter It's good. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. And I'm in the part, I'm liking it from when everyone hates it. So I can't wait to see when it gets to the part where everyone likes when it. When it's actually good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I knew this was going to happen. I was like, I was similar to Yu Yu Hakusho, where a lot of the parts where people don't like of Yu Yu Hakusho, I was like, no, that that's pretty awesome. I like that. Except for the Saint Beasts. Except for Saint Beasts again. Like, except for specific uh, certain moments throughout it. Um, like, again, I cannot believe... Oh, my fucking God. Like, even Genbu has a good moment over Suzaku because he gets put back together wrong, and Kurama's like, ha ha, asshole. Yeah, and then he just kills him. He's like, ha, idiot. Suzaku literally has <laughs> nothing. He has nothing. Yeah, there's nothing memorable about him at all. The the talking shithead bird sidekick that he has is more memorable than he is. He is. It's so aggravating. The episode name for this uh, for this episode is going to be called "Molding Over Suzaku" because that's basically what I feel. <laughs> that's, that's literally what I'm doing. I'm so mad that he's so. I'm angry that I want him. Exactly, but we're going to call it here. We're going to uh, end the episode. Th- once again, thank you very much for making it this far. If you've made it this far, over us just basically uh, talking about uh, Jim Pudi. As always, you can leave a like. That helps a whole bunch. But we we continue to do this regardless of anything. So don't worry if you feel yeah, like... Yeah, we just like, like show and jump and yeah. jump she heroes. 
Yeah, and I'm one of the very few YouTubers out there who's okay with completely tanking his channel, <laughs> even though I know exactly <laughs> what does best well. <laughs> like, oh yeah, my, my analytics tell me if I did more of this, I would really go places. All right, let me talk about Jampudi for the next hour <laughs> and completely yep, fuck him. for fucking ruin the analytics. Hell yeah, let's go. That's what I like to do. But yeah, if you want to actually support the crazy endeavors that I do, always remember to leave a like. Comments help. I just like really actually hearing what people have to say. So if you ever have to say anything, feel free to say anything. And uh, I assume if you're watching this, you're already subscribed to me, so you don't need to worry about anything. And if you're subscribed to Zen, then you uh, you should be subscribed to Zen. Like Zen has like over to like what triple what I have <laughs> easily. <laughs> I'm at uh, a little over eleven thousand. Yeah, that's uh, that's, uh, significantly more than mine. At least times five. At least times five. I've been stuck at like 2,220 for quite a bit here. I think for a couple months, but it's also been because (laughs) I've been on purpose not releasing certain things that would help with the algorithm stuff, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. We could do an entire side podcast thing talking about the weird shit that is in YouTube over... Yeah, YouTube it's, is uh, fucky sometimes. Yeah, it's really weird because you'll go like months with like no new subscriber and then you'll release one video and you'll get like a hundred or mm-hmm. thousands. Always how it is. Out. Yeah, it's just how it is. I've come to just accept it this many years in. <laughs> just do what I want and support my dumbass things that I do. <sighs> All right, everyone. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. We really got to find a better way to outro stuff. We usually yeah, figure it out in instead the of just rambling for a while and then saying, "Okay, bye." Yeah, yeah. We need like a an outro name. Unfortunately, there's like really nothing. But thankfully, I let the music take over and the ending things do it, so that helps a little bit. And then the ending video plays right here, unless I decide to edit it specifically so that the ending video actually ended a while ago. We're still talking. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <Perfect. laughs> <laughs> <laughs>